see a bungee cord going in somebody's oh. face. <laughs> <laughs> These products are really commonly purchased on eBay, Amazon, uh, and a lot of their websites will sell products that are just um, cheaper, I should say, cheaper, low quality. We're gonna compare this to the stage six manifolds and just see how they compare. What we have over here, this is a three quarter inch thick piece of plate steel. And what we're allowed to do here is, this has been machined to be 100% flat and true. We're gonna take these manifolds apart. We're gonna set them on this plate, see how true they are, because if these manifolds are not true, they're gonna have air leaks. Also, one thing I wanna go over is the, the softness and, and how hard how hard these couplings are here. Um, so show what they fit, how they go together, unpackage them, and just kinda of go over the details of the intake manifolds for the Honda Elite, Honda Dio, and the Yamaha Zuma and Jog. Horizontal. What we've got here, this is a Honda Dio, Honda Lead intake manifold. Got this on Amazon. <laughs> what I find pretty comical about this guy is you've got, oh, this, this marking is pretty funny. You've got Remarkable, TC or CT, shows product of, can't pronounce that. Um, so this is one brand of the package, or one brand of, of intake manifolds. This is just referred to as a CT. And I think it was about 29 bucks. This is gonna fit your, 94 to 2001 Honda Elite, and then your AF18, AF16, uh, AF25 style, AF28 style Honda Dio as well. And what this allows for is a PWK size carburetor, larger size carbs. I'm gonna talk about the drawbacks of this style of intake manifold and the benefits. The benefits of this, of course, is it's larger, you've got a bigger reed cage, and then it allows you to fit a larger carburetor because your OEM intake manifold is pretty weak, they're pretty small, and they don't allow for um, they don't allow for big carburetors, and if you run in a 72cc or larger, you definitely want to have a performance intake manifold. Again, that's the Amazon product. Um, this is going to be very similar to other brands as well that you're going to see that are kind of no-named or just in whatever packaging. This one also, is this a goof it? Is this a goof it? No, not a goof it. That one's a Honda Dio. This one, this is, this is the funny one. So first off, I ordered it, again, on Amazon. The... Uh, Packaging, Glixol. Amazing isn't enough. Glix, 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 Glixol, Glixol, Dio, AF16, 18. Troke, scooter moped, new, made in China. Pretty funny. I got a kick out of it. And then the best part is the goof it, go, goofief, goof, goofer, goofire, go, goof, goof it. Good fitting, goof it. And then same kind of generic packaging on here as well, made in China. We're gonna go ahead, open this guy first. Same thing with this is uh, gonna be your Yamaha Zuma, horizontal Minarelli. Again, it's gonna allow for a larger carburetor. Um, first thing you're gonna do is take this keychain. Oh, here's this Facebook deal. You're gonna take this keychain and put it on your bike because it's really cool. Um, and it's it's good fitting, so that assures you that it's um, it's not only a goof a goofer, but it's also good fitting. So whatever you put it on, it's gonna fit good. Um, uh, it's gonna fit good, and it, it'll probably break pretty quickly. So we'll just throw that away. First off, you take a look at the casting. Of course, it's uh, it's definitely oh, is that dirt? What is that? I don't know. It's a little, it's a little crusty. I've seen worse, but it's definitely not good. Um, the odds that these little fittings are going to actually be airtight are pretty slim, and you get two bolts, two replacement bolts with that. First thing we're going to look at on this manifold is how hard this rubber is. Your carburetor fits in this rubber boot, and it's really common for these things to dry out and crack. And when they do, 
one of two things can happen. I've had it happen before. Your carburetor can simply fall out. And when it does that, your bike runs, revs up crazy high and uh, you crash or you can crash or your carb just falls off. You get air leaks, yada, yada, yada. This is a, a design that is not really a great design. So you've got your booth. These things are prone to drying out, cracking, leaking. You can see this is pretty hard. It's thick, but it's definitely a really, really hard rubber. You've got your groove on the inside there and your two little lips to fit in the carburetor to get it to kind of lock into place. That's gonna be, of course, with this setup, we're gonna pull a Polini out. This is a Polini boot um, and you can get these as well and you can put them on these CT manifolds. If you run a CT, this is a really, really good option. But you can see this thing is much, much softer, much more pliable. Um, the other thing is the lip that holds your carburetor in there is definitely deeper and, and thicker, more robust than the um, Goofit. I'm gonna call it the Goofit. Also, it's got two spots where your um, hose clamps fit in place so they're not walking all over the place. But in general, it's definitely nicer quality. It's much softer. I'm squeezing that thing as hard as I can with these fingers. Same with this. This thing just squeezes down much better. So much more pliable rubber, which means it's gonna last a lot longer. It's gonna seal better. And this guy's, they just, they're gonna dry out. A lot of times guys will over tighten these and they'll kind of swell up if it's cracking or whatever, especially guys in Florida and areas where um, you've got the humidity and heat, these things are, they're toast fast, where these Polini ones are definitely better. So if you're running one of these manifolds, this is a really good upgrade. These things are just, they're, they're just junk. But again, I'm not trying to just bash products in general. What I'm trying to do is just show you the difference and show you that you get what you pay for with these products. And if you get it, just be prepared um, that this is what you're gonna get. So again, this is a, uh, I think this, this is like $30 and this was about the same, same company, two different suppliers. This guy, what I find comical about this is they give you a gasket here between your intake and reeds but you're left with no gasket here. And this is gonna be the gasket that's gonna break, of course, because that's on your engine, which is gonna see heat. So when you go to replace it, not only are you gonna to have to buy this, but you're gonna to need to buy a, a gasket as well, guessing six to nine bucks at your dealer. So $29 for this shipped, and you're going to also need a gasket as well. So say you spend 29 bucks on this guy, this thing fails prematurely, you're gonna spend 10 bucks on this guy as well. So you're 39, 49, um, about, 49 bucks to have this thing with your extra gasket and a better uh, better boot as well. We're gonna take this apart and we're gonna put them over here on the steel and we're gonna kind of see how true these manifolds are. So let's go ahead and take the goof fit number one and see if it is indeed good fitting as a keychain, as the keychain says. Um, reed cage, pretty standard stuff. Um, one thing, I've noticed with these style cages is they get really brittle. I used to buy these CT manifolds back in the day. And uh, I remember just taking these out of the body and it may happen on this guy, taking these out of the body, I've had them be tight and they literally just explode when you take them out. It's pretty common. This plastic will just crack, fall apart, get sucked into your engine. And just in general, you can see the quality is pretty poor the casting or whatever this process is, you see chunks of chunks of plastic just hanging off there, pretty common. And then uh, you've got some nicks and whatever, big spare little chunk hanging off here. Definitely not, not uh, anything to be super happy about. And then the next thing here, obviously this is the important part. We take our two bolts out here. The worst part about this I don't know if you guys can see it, but, oh, what? Are those chunks? Wow. So I just pulled this out. Let me see if I can get the camera in here. Maybe. There are actually chunks flaking off. It just flaked off in my hand. This is what you get with the Goofit. I would give this a, this is a definitely, a, this is a fail. <laughs> That is a little chunk of aluminum plating or chrome plating or whatever this stuff is. This is what you get. That's gonna go into your motor, okay? 
nice we'll just keep that and it's it's all over here you've got a big sharp edge right here as well another sharp edge right here it's really hard to see but this all in this area you've just got this just chunks of just chunks of plating or whatever this stuff is it's just fallen off as you touch it um, so no, it's just chipping off anyways that's what you get it's pretty poorly casted you've got some real sharp edges here again this is to be expected guys it's 29 dollars shipped to your door a lot of times what you'll find too is these edges are not going to be true and it's not going to allow this to sit flush on your engine if it doesn't sit flush on your engine um, then you're never going to get a good air seal you can see there that edge has got a nick to it it's sticking up higher so it's definitely i can guarantee this one's not going to sit flat it's just a it's 29 dollars intake manifold so here's kind of a better angle show you guys how this thing is rocking back and forth but you can hear it i don't know if you can really see it but it's not true on that metal so you've got a couple high points there, but it's rocking back and forth right there. That's gonna be an air leak between, it's gonna be an air leak between here and your intake, uh, your, your reeds as well. Any of these chrome style Chinese whatever intake manifolds, whether they're for Piaggio, uh, Dio, it doesn't matter what they're for, that's gonna be the case with all these intake manifolds. You're gonna have to true them up because they're gonna leak. That's your, that's your uh, reed base there. So definitely pretty warped. That's a pretty flawed reed cage. And again, I'm just pushing on. It doesn't matter where I put it. So this intake manifold is, is definitely a fail and you're gonna have air leaks if you run this. But first thing, obviously you get better packaging. Seems like they actually care about their product a little bit rather than Glixol goof it. Kind of nice, the stage six. Okay, they provide the stage six provides you with a stuffer. That's a 24 millimeter stuffer for your reed cage. That's an Allen to take these bolts out and reinstall your new one. You get your new hose clamp and uh, more extra reed accessories because it already has reeds, but they give you a uh, different set as well. Take our handy Allen, undo these guys. One thing you'll notice on this reed cage is there's no gaskets because it's got this rubberized coating on it, which is really nice. You also get a 26 millimeter stuffer as well. Just fling that over there. You've got 24, 26 millimeter stuffer. You've got these um, kind of raised raised spots here and that's going to help it seal on your intake manifold you don't have you don't need a gasket for this i would still hold on it but it's really nice you don't need a gasket the whole cage is coated that way you get a nice seal and what's cool is when you take this apart you're not going to have to try to search for for or make gaskets or, or buy gaskets because the paper gaskets are going to rip this is going to seal nice it's definitely a much 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 higher quality reed cage the manifold itself is a totally different design if you'll notice on the goof it it's got this rubber coupling to connect to your carburetor where this one has a two bolt flange here, which is really nice. These are really easy to change. Um, this is this one here. The stage six comes with a manifold designed for a Delorto or 21 millimeter CP, something like that, 1917. If you wanna go to a larger size, like a 24 to 30, we sell these and you can order them separately as well, different size boots. So you can change these boots out. Um, this one, you're, you're stuck with running a, if you're running a PWK or Kian style carb, you're stuck with a 24 bare minimum. OKO makes a 21, I believe, and the Chinese brands make 21s. Um, all the, the uh, good quality brands are gonna be 24 and larger. So this manifold, you're gonna be able to run, what it comes with, you're gonna be around 17, 19, Pliny CP, Delorto, 17, 19, 21. You definitely um, have better quality. These guys are better quality here as well. You can just tell they have a nicer finish to them. Provide you with a couple of rubber boots. So if you end up having a manual pet cock and not pre-mixing, you don't need rubber boots for the, or you won't need these things if you end up pre-mixing and uh, using a manual pet cock. Or this one if you end up doing that stuff you've got to buy a rubber boot it's just a couple differences you're not relying on hose clamps two hose clamps to hold it on the cts are really common where the carbs will just pop off and fall out these are really really tight it's if you have a carb falling out of this style of boot it's because it's not it's not in this little rib here is going to click over inside the carburetor so if that if you have carbs falling out you simply just have a bad installation or this thing is is toast the the finish inside doesn't have the chrome definitely has some i mean i would clean this stuff up but definitely has a um a lip here but it's not it's the actual casting it's not like a it's not like the flaking chrome finish you don't have that super chinesium chrome finish which is nice so 
Definitely better manifold. Let's go ahead and, and put it down on the table and see if it's true. So we've got this down here. Doesn't really have any movement. So the stage six manifold doesn't really move at all. Very, very little. So it's a true manifold. What's nice is you can see, they've CNC'd this to be flat and true on the bottom. You can see that the machine marks. So this is a true manifold. All the edges are nice and clean. Doesn't have any big burrs or nicks or anything like that. It's a nice, uh, nice machine finish. So you're gonna get, you're gonna get a really good seal. The Honda one isn't quite as bad as far as the plating goes. The plating was definitely, wait, no, it's just as bad. See this here, all this area here, that's just a big chunk um, in the plating there. So the casting process, there's just junk here. And I'm literally just, as you can see, I'm just chipping it away with my pen. So um, everything's supposed to be smooth with your carburetor, guys. You can spend all this money on your parts, but then you're gonna put something like this on, it's, it's pretty bad. So if you get this intake manifold, you really need to clean all this up in here and break this all down. And then you've got all this, this cheap, crummy, you can actually see, you can actually see a lot of this is already bubbling right now. And again, this has not been used over time. All the stuff's gonna chip off and get sucked into your motor. So have fun with that. So here's our reed cage, the Honda Dio, Honda Elite. Now you've got the base of the intake manifold here, metal on metal. Hear this? So this guy's also not true. This is a surface that's gonna sandwich your reeds. And that may be the worst of all, actually. This is obviously the part that's gonna go in your reed cage. This is connects to your, uh, your carburetor. We're gonna rock this guy back and forth as well. That guy's pretty bad. Ooh, yeah, that's a bad one. We have our winner, or our loser. Oh no, we suck again. Let's go ahead and get to the Honda Dio Elite Style Intake Manifold, see how true this guy is. <laughs> got the bolts removed from the manifold we've got the rubber boot taken off the front here pretty easy to take apart basically to get these four bolts off you need to take this off first and then you can access these four pop it apart guess what no gaskets because you've got this rubber coating here another nice nice machine surface you can actually see the lines where the rubber was contacting again so we'll check that for trueness you've got your rubber reed cage here nice fit another machine surface here and another machine surface here. You can see there's no scratches and gouges and chips and all that good stuff. All these manifolds could definitely use cleanup as well, but this one definitely has nicer, smoother, um, smoother casting in here as well. It's just a it's just a better quality piece, and it looks to be really true. Get it on here. Got no real movement that I can see. Nice and true. I mean, it makes sense. It's machined machine surface. So that goes down to the engine and this goes to the reeds. I don't really feel any play here either. Maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny bit this way. Maybe. No. It's pretty solid. They did a good job. And again, that stage six, I don't think they even really like us very much, but um, I'm not doing this for any brands or payment or anything like that. Um, this is just to kind of give you guys information on the, the different products and the problems you're gonna run into. So this, both these sides are true. Makes sense, it, obviously it wouldn't be machined like this if it wasn't wasn't true. Well, you've got nice smooth angles here. Um, you don't have any super Chinese plating falling off there. Um, this this is leaps and bounds better than the, uh, the Changtao Goofit over here. It's rock solid, they don't rock around. They don't rock around or move at all. Overall, the difference, you know, these are about twice the price is what you're gonna pay with one of these guys, what you're gonna pay for one of these guys over here. And it it doesn't make, any, in my opinion, it doesn't really make any sense to spend your 30 bucks over here and have just something that's gonna be such low quality and provide you with um, of hours of extra tuning due to air leaks. Again, you can, you can eliminate that by 
by sanding it and filing it flat and true. Um, but if you don't want to go through that process and you don't want to start off with something that's already a turd to begin with, you're, you're polishing a turd, which I think you can actually polish a turd and make it usable, but you've got a, you've got an unpolished turd to begin with where this is just ready to go, unbolt it. You, this guy's ready to go, take it out of the box, pop it on and go. I would still use Honda Bond on all these mating surfaces. If you guys are interested in the Goofit manifolds and you're kind of the type of person that really likes air leaks and likes chunks of, um, um, whatever trinesium plating falling off in your engine that's a really good fit for you if you like to blow up cylinders and whatnot and have air leaks this is definitely what i would recommend if you want something that's good right out of the box something that's going to work good get yourself a good brand name manifold and and not a goof it get yourself a stage six a polenium melosi something like that i sold probably I probably sold a thousand of these manifolds combined and don't have any issues with them. Nice thing about stage six is if you call and say, hey, you know what, you know, my, this coating here had a rip in it or whatever. Um, actually, you don't call stage six, you call me. I'm going to give you a new manifold. I'm going to contact stage six. You know, yep, no problem. We're going to take care of you. We'll give you a new manifold. Um, if you try to contact Goofit, they're going to send you another junky manifold here. And they'll probably send you a couple because these probably cost a dollar fifty to make because 50 cents is a child labor and then the, the dollar is gonna be for the um, for the actual manufacturing process. But these are great manifolds. Stake six are great manifolds. We have different brands as well, but um, really good luck with these guys. And again, I chose these guys because I want wanted to compare the two different designs. Now it's time for me to clean up my mess. Hopefully this, got, this shed some light on the different intake manifolds, the different types and whatnot as well give you guys some information and some insight into the differences and what you're getting and what you're paying for um, as well. Thank you for watching. You guys have questions, hit us up and let us know. Um, we're gonna start doing some more comparisons like this because it's nice to get the stuff out of the box and on the table. I'm happy to make a mess and clean it up for you guys and then uh, uh, you guys can get some information out of it. So thanks for watching, subscribe, share, and post below what you guys would like to see next.